What's going on everybody and welcome back to another episode of E-Electric Productions. I'm Jay and today I'm bringing you another animal physics sandbox playground style game. This one's Shark Simulator. So my last episode we did uh, Banana Town, which was, uh, yeah, it was bad. It was really, really bad. It was a $40 game where you played as a banana. I am a banana! And, uh... There was just nothing really to do, and it was bad. It was really bad. Uh, watch that video if you haven't already, because it's oof, it's shocking. But this one actually looks pretty good. I saw Shark Simulator on Steam, and it was getting a lot of hate uh, in the comments section. Everybody's like, oh, another animal quirky physics simulator, you know, woo. But I actually liked the art style that I was seeing on display there. I really like this, like, overly polygonal look, and it just looked charming. It looked like it was fun, and so I thought, what the heck, I'm going to give it a shot. So let's jump right in here and uh, take a look and see what we've got in Shark Simulator. <laughs> So I always like to go to the options first and see what's on display. Good options can be indicative of a good game and vice versa. And there's a few different options on display here. I like that it's not the typical Unity, pick good, best, you know, whatever from that little drop down and then that's it, you're stuck with whatever you picked. Um, there's a few audio options. I really like this. Uh, so the controls, like when we played Banana Town, there was like three controls. There was your typical movement, and then you could go limp and jump, and that was it. Uh, but this one, you've got move up, move down, jump, open jaws, use equipment, drop equipment, fire, next weapon, health kits. It's got a lot of options to it, so that's that's a good sign. So let's jump in and play the game. I'm using a controller. I find this game is easier to control overall. The shark's actually pretty hard to control in general, uh, but it's a lot harder with the mouse and keyboard. If you're really wanting to use the the, the machine gun that you can buy for the shark, then you might want to use the mouse because it, it aims pretty poorly with, uh, with a controller, but yeah, it's kind of neither here nor there. So pro tip, if this game looks like fun and you decide to get it, uh, pumping the jump button so that you try to hit jump just as you hit the water will build up your uh, momentum. And I don't like how they start you off out in the middle of the ocean every single time after you die. So before I start attacking things, um, I'm going to kind of zoom around here a little bit and just show you what's on display as far as the town itself. And I've already managed to take out a civilian, so yeah, we, we're going to get the cops on us here in a moment. There is a Grand Theft Auto style um, rating system in this game. Whoa, I got kind of detached from my shark there. The camera came detached. Oh boy, we've already got the cops on us. Um, I can work my jaws here and grab people. And, uh, oh. I started firing grenades. So one of the things I'm disappointed with is, um, you know, I could run most games on Ultra. Um, and this game, I guess just because of all the physics on display here, I get some pretty good slowdown, or I should say pretty bad slowdown. Um, and that's that's a little disappointing. I mean, oh, we got cops. Let's see if I can... Oh, I got a bunch of them there with that grenade. Oh, 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 oh. What the they come. <laughs> We got a bunch of them. I got a bunch of cash. So one of the things I like is there's little stores um, around here. And you can actually go and kind of pull up to said stores. And there's like a little... It's it's like reminiscent of the old Grand Theft Auto games actually again. So let's... Uh, let's trick our shark out here. Kind of digging that. That looks good. Nice hat. You're trying to look like a secret agent. There we go. Now we are styling and profiling. But, uh, yeah, you just pull up to one of the shops out front. There's that little beacon of light, and uh, you can enter the shop that way. I really like the art style. I do. Um, I'm upset about the physics slowing down uh, the game. And it's weird, too, because sometimes it really slows it down. Other times it doesn't. It's almost random slowdown, it seems like. We're going to the barber shop. What can, what can we get? Oh, a mustache for our shark. Oh, I'm liking the beard. I think we're going to end up with a bearded uh, bearded shark here. 
Oh, the handlebar, though. Yep, yep, I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I look like a freaking catfish now. <laughs> like an oversized catfish with like a jetpack underneath of me. Whoa! It's nice that you can build up momentum, but then you can't stop very easily. And I don't know if that momentum thing was built into the game on purpose or not. Oh, 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 no, 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 oh. Oh, well. Whoa, oh, that's so sad. No wonder my character's so angry. Look at that. That was his father. <sighs> this whole game makes sense now. This is a this is a mission of revenge. <laughs> no, there's there's no story. It's just a sandbox. But unlike um unlike Banana Town, where there was nothing to do, this this game's kind of fun actually, and I kind of enjoy just scooching around the level. But I'm gonna throw this out there right now. I think they should add in. It's fine for you to name it Shark Sim. But have like an octopus or something too where I can move more normally on the ground. Because right now I kind of just have to throw myself around the level, which comedy ensues, I get it. But it would be nice to have the option to kind of do things. Oh, we're, we're taking out the cop. Taking out the cop shop here. Well, I'm going to try to. Oh, no! So, I'm glad the music started back up again. This is actually one of my issues with this game. The music makes no sense. And not in a quirky, funny, like, oh, man, I can't believe they picked this music. But it's like this Jack Johnson, like... Folksy, bluesy, like what? What the heck, guys? Like, what were you? What were you thinking here? I'm caught on the car. I'm using this as an opportunity to make some cash so that we can buy some more stuff from the shops. So I'm kind of sitting here just wreaking havoc on uh, on the police station. Oh, 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 oh! They can tear you up pretty quick too. The cops can. We're at five thousand. We got five thousand dollars here gonna take off yeah I want to I want a different soundtrack this soundtrack doesn't does not fit we're bailing guys here we go Woo! oh I just wiped that guy out um, so yeah things that I would change about this game don't start the shark out at sea once you're in the city like like just drop you right in the shallows right near the the shore let's let's switch up the soundtrack I mean the music's groovy I like it like it's not a bad jam and there's a few different songs but they're all kind of like this but it just doesn't fit at all and then uh, maybe add a couple more sea creatures that you can play as or unlock that'd be pretty awesome um, and I would like to see the controls refined a little bit more I don't know if that's possible or not I mean maybe this is just how it is and uh, but I just I think it would help a little bit uh, uh, what do we got here weapons so let's switch uh, let's switch it up Let's go for sharks with frickin' laser beams attached to their heads. I like the machine gun, but let's do something a little bit different. Let's go with a flail. Oh, yeah. Some of the other things I've noticed are I have glitched through the level, like below it, uh, a few times. It's not... Man, that is a nasty-looking flail. Let's try to... Sorry for the crazy camera. Yeah, the camera is just, it's a bit tricky sometimes to to control. This flail is actually making it really hard to control things. The sword is actually a little bit better. They've got like a Final Fantasy VII style uh, sword. And I kind of like that one better. In fact, I think there's another weapon shop up here on the left. So let's, let's go get that sword. I kind of like it better. And with the sword, you can create your own Sharknado movie. Because your shark will spin around like crazy. Sharknado 5, Global Swarming. Look at him go. Oh, until you get stuck on a couple of uh, umbrellas. Oh, we, we're getting our... Oh, I glitched out pretty good there. It's got some funny glitches um, that are actually 
kind of fun and enjoyable to see. Um, again, Banana Town was just... Its glitches were just... Like, the game's just broken. This game's glitches are, like, actually funny. <laughs> just seeing a shark with a giant sword and... <laughs> a, a mustache and goatee and a fedora this is I'm entertained I must be a um, simple person to entertain I guess so I mean this is the game though this is pretty much it it's it's not gonna sit there and uh, keep you entertained for weeks on end or anything I think that they could add some things to this and I think that they could actually grow this game maybe add some missions to the game um, some different obstacles that you have to get through I actually think they've got enough of a, a good baseline here that they could turn this... Uh oh here we go, guys. Oh! <laughs> oh, we're, we're going down. We're going down. Oh, here we go. I'm trying. Woo, here we go. I'm like a freaking gummy shark. Have you ever had those gummy sharks? They're like blue and white, and uh, they're not they're not very good. But that's what I feel like my character is one of those gummy sharks. So um, you've got health kits if you hit the up uh, on the directional pad. Oh wow! I can actually change weapons. That's awesome. I didn't realize that. I thought you had to just like switch them up at the shop. You can do yeah. You can destroy cars with this mini gun. I think the minigun's my favorite just because then I can kind of, well, squirm around the level and, and shoot at what I want to shoot at. The grenade launcher doesn't have enough, um, what just happened there? We just blew something up. Was that a building that we blew up? Can you blow up buildings or was that just a gas station? No? Maybe not? I don't know. That was weird. I've never seen that. I've played this, uh, I don't know, probably about an hour now. And it's the first time I've ever seen a building blow up. <clears throat> that was cool though. Maybe it's just small buildings? I'm trying to blow up that hamburger stand there. Um, actually, and for that matter, having a more destructible environment um, would probably be pretty cool. Like if you could just decimate this whole city, that'd be pretty awesome. There's some more blown up pieces of building there too. I don't know. Maybe some buildings are destructible, some aren't. But uh, yeah, so. My takeaways for this game are, I'd wait for a sale, get it for $4. If the dev keeps adding stuff to it, then I think it's going to reach that $8 uh, price point in in value. If they added some, some missions, some different goals, maybe some uh, different, even just challenges that, you know, that they put at the bottom for you to complete, like try to do this a certain number of times, get an achievement. Um, that would be good. Clean up the glitch where you can go through the scenery. I know I haven't on this uh, this video here. But I have glitched down below the city into the water underneath, like, multiple times. It's not just, like, a one-time thing. Let's switch up the soundtrack and get something maybe a little more zany, a little more wacky. That's pretty much it. I, I like the city. Um, I like the shark. I like the idea. Again, it would be nice to have a couple more sea creatures to choose from. Like, maybe an, octopu uh, an octopus, a swordfish, a flying fish, maybe? I don't know. I'm just, I'm just grasping at straws here. Um, and, uh, yeah, maybe some missions and some objectives and some goals, but that's, that's pretty much it, guys. If you like what you've seen here, then I'd say support the devs, maybe throw it in your wish list and, uh, wait for it to go on that sweet, sweet, sweet Steam sale and get it for, like, a few dollars or something. If there's other games that you guys would like to see me play, let me know in the comment section below. That's gonna pretty much do it for me today. Uh, thanks very much for stopping by. I really, really appreciate it, and I look forward to seeing all of you on the next episode of E-Electric Productions. Game on, everyone. What do we have? Sea bass. Right. They are mutated sea bass. Really? Are they ill-tempered? Absolutely. Well, that's a start.